Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. So this time it's a bit different. Usually we have an image sent in from an Instagrammer for me to do a tutorial on. So that's why I always want you guys to comment down in the description who you guys want to send in the photo for me to do a tutorial on. But this time it's a photo that I have shot myself. It's not on my Instagram right now and we're going to be working with this one. And yeah, go give me a follow down in the description guys and you can also find a link to my presets and LUTs if you haven't already found that link so and if you guys don't know yet I've launched a color grading course website so there's links down to that in almost every description and I'm always adding to it always adding new LUTs and more tutorials on different styles I want to cover every popular style out there so come over and check it out I also sell flat footage uh, packs that you can practice color grading with with 1dx mark footage flat profile and there's also the LUTs there so let's go back to Instagram and check out the store here guys you can come over here guys and this is where you find my presets I get a few messages asking where can I find them and then you can also find the link again to the color grading course there all right so let's recreate these really blue and gold tones it's quite a bit like uh, Garrett King he uses this quite a bit it's probably the best known for this grade and yeah I want to get into Lightroom Okay, so here's our raw unedited one. And if I just show you guys, I edited this photo with my gold blue preset. So I've got a few of them. And I think I used number four. So I'm just going to bring down the exposure. Exposure. To about there. Or a bit more. And then I think maybe bring up the warmth a bit. But what I'll do is just show you guys from scratch and try to uh, tell you why I did things as I went. So uh, this is in, this preset is included in my preset pack that I offer you guys. I've got lots of them that work really well. But this is a really difficult um, grade to do well. So I've got a few of them there just so it works in different environments and different lighting scenarios. But in this one I think I rolled with gold blue four and yeah you guys can check these all out in my preset pack i offer you guys so let's get into it and i'll also make the image available to download for you guys so if you guys want to go get the image and follow along we can do that all right so i'll just go back and reset Okay, let's get into it. So I'll start by just really upping the warmth by a lot. So you probably wouldn't start with this step, but I know that I've got it this high in my preset. So I might actually leave that for a bit later because it gets a bit too extreme and you can't really see why you're doing any of the other edits. So I'm just going to bring it real low for now. And then later when it makes sense, I'll really bring up the warmth. Okay, I'm going to bring down the exposure. And then really bring down the clarity because curves play a really big role in achieving this edit. So when we do that, that that's when we'll get a lot of contrast into the image. Um, and before we do any more blacks just to get a bit of contrast in there shadows okay so we'll just do the curves now and then I'll explain what I did with the curves
Okay, so that's the curves done, and we've got a general S curve to give a color pop to the colors and adding in a bit of that contrast. And I can't really describe exactly why I did this because it intertwines with all the rest of the edits. So it doesn't really make sense to make some of these changes right now. But this is what I did, and then you can see I took a little bit more blue out of the midtones. So it's going to leave a bit more warmth by taking the blues out there. And now we'll go on to the next step to really get these rich tones. Um, so we've got it pretty warm. So that's without the warmth added. If we just add that warmth back in. That's what we've got so far. What we're going to do is now work with the split toning and add in a lot of blues and a lot of um, warm tones to the highlights. So in the blues, we're going to put lots in. Bluey teal. And then the highlights, we want those warm oranges, if not yellows. Okay, so you'll, you'll be thinking, I don't have enough blues in here. I should have the blues way, way more up. And with less highlights, you might say, I don't want any highlights in there. But what I'm planning on doing is shifting the balance here all the way to about there. And that, what that's going to do is put blues in pretty much 78% 70, of the image. It's going to put blues through the mid-tones and almost into the highlights. So that's no that's blues covering the entire image, none of the image, and then at seventy eight, I think it was, is where we want it. And yeah, otherwise it's quite hard to control where you want your highlights and blues. We want to keep the highlights in those brightest areas. We want these real nice blue tones going throughout the mid-tones and stuff like that. So that's a really important step I've found. So we've got some warm tones uh, coming in from pulling out the blue here. And then we're adding in some blue tones into the mid-tones by shifting the balance and having such a large amount of teals in there. And then that, that means we have a better clash of these really nice warm tones and blues into into the entire image okay i'm just going to quickly drop down the saturation a lot of these Okay, so that's the saturation done. You probably think I've gone way too far bringing down the saturation. And like leaving it up here is almost fine. And it almost is. You could probably get away with this. Uh, warming up the greens. Warming up those yellows. You get it pretty close. But what I want to do is drop these even more. And then come up to the top and really, really bring up the warmth. I'm going to 
bring down the vibrance. And you can see what that does. Bring up saturation. Okay, we're still looking a bit too warm. Bring down the tint. So I'm going to shift a few more of these greens. You can see we're closer to that bluey look. So I'm not going to go that far though. I'm going to leave it about there. Now, this image also has a very low amount of contrast. So We've really brought down the contrast, but it looks kind of plain and not not that appealing by bringing down the contrast in this way. So I'm going to do a fade and an S-curve in the curves here. And that's also just going to add a bit of richness, maybe some deeper tones to the shadows when you bring them down. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so that's these curves done, and all it is is a bit of an S curve, and we're really bringing up those blacks, and then we just got this point here to help us just keep the fade in the blacks, keeping those nice rich tones in the shadows, because we're bringing them down, and then kind of bring down the mid-tones maybe a little, and then bringing down those whites to help keep the flat look, and... Yeah, uh, for this shot, I brought up the clarity a lot. If you're trying to, if you want like a Garrett King look, you probably want to bring down the clarity a little and then really up the sharpness. But for this one, uh, the, the people I was editing the uh, photo for, I thought lots of clarity worked a bit better. Some more warmth to the yellows, make them a bit more orange. Grain. Not much at all. Let's go up and I'll just I gotta drop the blacks a bit more. You can see it's a bit darker in there. And then that will sort of affect our colours as well. Shadows a touch. Good. Um, maybe back off on those warm yellows that we did, or warmer oranges. As you can see, we're getting a bit red. So, um, did I add? I didn't add any more blue into split toning. Uh, let's shift the oranges. See how we're just a bit too orange in the hand. Let's go back. A few reds, they're good at about there. So, this is the most important one the yellows, I think. they're good about there and you can see I sort of want a few more blues um, yeah I just dropped the warmth a little there 
I think that looks okay. Maybe you should bring it back up a little. Um, yeah, otherwise I'll just leave it there, guys. We're pretty close. I might actually like this edit better. Um, if I want those blues back in there, I might just bring down the warmth a little. But yeah, I'll just leave it there. There's a touch of difference I can see there, especially in those blues there. But I would say I'd like this one just as much. I'd maybe bring up the saturation for the hand. So now that we drop that warmth, we've we'll lost a bit of color um, and the highlights and everywhere for the warmth. Now we still want to keep that down. Shift the reds for the fingers there. We're about good in the luminance, might bring down the yellows. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty close. We've got a bit more of a green look in our one and a bit more blues over in that one, but I, uh, I think I like this one just as much. Um, maybe luminance the oranges. And take down the saturation of the oranges a bit, maybe. Then a bit more warmth, the highlights maybe. Okay, I'm just about happy with this sharpening. I'm just going to bring up quite a bit. Bring it right up. I think we've done grain. Don't need profile corrections. Okay. Um, yeah, we're a little bit more maybe on the green side for this one but i'm happy with both images maybe a bit of brushing on the watch to bring out the watch i think i've done that yeah they're still applied bring down the d bring up the dehaze and things like that so you can see the detail on the watch but i won't go into those edits and one last change i might just bring down the exposure ever so slightly and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that guys. I'll just leave it there. We're pretty similar there. And yeah, I'm happy with both of these anyway. So if you guys want a bunch of presets, I've got quite a few blue and gold ones in there. Go check them out. You, you guys will be able to flick through them and be able to get the look you want out of the bunch of them there. And what's new to the presets is... I'm adding in some curves so it's just gonna be the curves and then you can find some curves you like and then add them to other presets you can keep your preset there and then try these different curves and it will only apply the curves so find uh, some curves you like and then you can try it with a whole lot of different presets or the other way around so I think that will be really handy for people because people quite often struggle with those curves and yeah that's about it guys check them out and if you're into video editing um check out the links below there's links to LUTs and tutorials on how to use them really high quality LUTs and 
I will be catching you in the next one. Comment down below who you guys want to see. So comment people that don't have heaps of followers but still have great images. That way they will send in a photo if I hit them up. Make sure you do that. It really helps me out. And yeah, I'll have this photo up maybe for you guys to download. So check out the links. And catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.